I was watching a video from Dabo7. I'll try and leave a link down below. He was showing a fracking yard out in Oklahoma blowing up and burning. Well, I don't know about this particular yard, but I do have a little insight into fracking. As I looked into it a few years back, my family owned some land in upstate New York that was right on top of that big oil find up there. And I was hoping to get some fracking going on on my family property to try and make some money out of it. The simple thing is, all of these rigs that were there in that yard, it's my understanding, were all diesel fuel. <coughs> and it is my understanding that diesel fuel doesn't explode. It barely burns. So, since diesel fuel doesn't give off the kind of fumes required to explode, it practically has to have a blowtorch put to it to get it to burn. What caused this fire and all those explosions? Well, my money is going to be wagered squarely on arson and terrorism. Now, I'm not going to say for sure who it was, if it was terrorism. I'm not going to say what group was involved, because I just don't know. But if I were a betting man, I'm going to think it has something to do with OPEC. You're going to say, Embarado, why would you think such a thing as that? Well, our fuel prices went sky high because OPEC thought they could squeeze an extra buck out of us. Why do you think we were paying four something a gallon for fuel? Yes, part of it's federal and state taxes. Most of it was OPEC being greedy. So then we, as a nation, started looking at fracking. And it was discovered that we had more oil in the oil sands of Alaska and Canada than OPEC had in all of its wells all over the uh, Middle East. We had more oil by 10 times in the oil sands. And they were afraid if we got that flowing, we could just quit buying oil from them entirely. So they dropped the price on a barrel of crude oil overnight. And that's why the price of uh, gasoline has come down so drastically. But yet, we're still looking at Oil sand. So they're going to do anything they can to prevent us from doing oil sand. They're going to do anything they can to prevent us from doing fracking. You see, folks, it's just common sense applied. And the application of Occam's razor. When, And for those of you who from Maria Linda and don't know what Occam's razor is, I'll put it in the simplest possible terms, quoted best by one of my favorite fictional characters, Sherlock Holmes. When you've eliminated the impossible, whatever's left, however improbable, must be the truth. This is Occam's razor, stated in its simplest possible terms. So, you all apply Occam's razor, and see if you don't think maybe I'm right on this one. Peace. Out.